Your daughter away? I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, the, <laughs> today the bride and the groom have chosen to write their own personal vows to each other. So when me and Brittany first met, she did not like me at all. She <laughs> thought I was arrogant and to this day she still blames me for stealing a sale at Tivana. But during those long, boring nights, we got to talk, and we were talking a lot about World of Warcraft, and that just sparked a friendship that deepened over the years. By the time we started dating, we were best friends. It, it wasn't perfect at first, but eventually we could communicate openly and honestly with each other. And because of this, we built a strong foundation uh, for our relationship from the rubble of the walls we once held up. So there are a lot of things I love about this relationship, including our foundation. I love how much we laugh and take satisfaction and I take satisfaction in deepening that laugh line against your will. <laughs> I do. I love that we support and help each other grow. You know, when we can't solve a problem of our own, we put our heads together and help each other find new roads to success and new avenues of growth, forever challenging uh, the other to keep up. I love that we can be ourselves in our relationship as well. I never once felt I needed to hide myself from her. I am free to make the dumbest jokes and the, and the cringiest punchlines. I can dance horribly. I can make the weirdest faces. I, I could just be downright weird with her, and she just sits there and takes it. Yeah, she accepts me for everything. I think the only thing she doesn't accept is my, uh, is my excitement to wear Velcro shoes. <laughs> I don't accept it. I don't. I don't. Uh, but I have to say my most favorite thing is experiencing life in, in that with our adventures that we take. Uh, we've been to so many places and we have so many more to go and we create new memories and new laughs and a new thrill of life that really just fills me with, you know, with limitless supplies of, of happiness and, uh, and excitement for what's in the future. You know, I love you, Brittany. There isn't a day that goes by it. I don't say it and there never will be. I know sometimes I can be the, the weeniest of junior huts, <laughs> but I promise you that I will continue to grow to help support you in life. And I will strive to be the best man I can be for you, for our family, our friends, and our future children. You know, and most importantly, I promise I will never stop loving you with all my heart and soul. Okay. Nine years ago, when you walked into my life, I made it my goal to be your friend. I felt a connection to you, and I knew underneath that grizzly bear exterior was truly a teddy bear. Do you remember the night of our first kiss? Mm. You asked me, are you sure you want to do this? Because after this, it won't be the same. Wait, won't be the same, and we risk ruining the friendship we have. Well, damn, am I happy I said yes, because here I am, marrying not only the love of my life, but my best friend. 
As I recollect memories that brought us to this day, I remember one in particular. You and I were closing up the tea shop, talking, as always, when you looked at me and said, there are not many people who have a place in my heart, but you are one of them. I had the utmost respect for you, knowing how much trust, courage, and strength that took you to say. That night, I took an oath to myself to make sure you always felt that way. All I have ever wanted and will continue to want till my dying day is for you to feel loved and pure happiness. I would do and give anything to see a smile on your face or to hear one of your hearty chuckles. And during those times in life when smiles are few and far, I know you will be there to tell me it will be okay. Those four words are like magic to me because they truly mean our love and perseverance can conquer anything life throws into our path. And it will not matter where the path leads us because home will be wherever you are. Hmm. Now for the series. Joseph, I never imagined I could love this deeply. I love you with every fiber of my being. You invested the time and patience to break down every self-protecting wall I built during my lowest times and cleared the rubble each time. This allowed me to find love for myself, which I did not think possible. And for that, I in turn give you all of me and the love I have to offer. The amount of love I feel for you is inexplicable. So I make these promises to you as expressions of my love for you. I promise to believe that it is little gremlins stealing all the Oreos. I promise to be convinced it is the forward squeaking or Rhea's fault. I promise to officially forgive you for stealing my cast iron sale. And I promise to give you back scratchy. Oh, yes. I promise to nurture your soul, heart, and mind. I promise to love not only who you are now, but who you will become throughout the rest of our lives. I will love all of you, even the inevitable Velcro shoes. <laughs> I promise to challenge and encourage you to be your best self. I promise to have faith in you and help bring your dreams to fruition. Today you gain a partner in life, and as, al as you always say, Teamwork makes the dream work. Mm. I promise to make our relationship my priority. Whenever you need me, I will be there. I love you, Joseph Marshall Thayer. Mm. I want you to repeat after me. Brittany. Brittany. Let this ring be a symbol. Let this ring be a symbol. Of my promise to you. Of my promise to you. And a reminder of my love for you. And a reminder of my love for you. Always. Always. Brittany? Joseph? Yeah. Oh, that's right. okay. Joseph? Let this ring be a symbol. Let this ring be a symbol. Of my promise to you. Of my promise to you. And a reminder of my love. And you. and a reminder of my love to you. Always. Always. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife in addition. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Thayer. <laughs>